Author's Notes on the History of London, Lessons 21 to 39, Recorded Sections 9 to 16. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Ruth Golding. The History of London by Walter Besant. Notes on Lesson 21, The Terror of Leprosy. Leprosy, a terrible disease of the skin and blood, once prevalent in Europe, now mostly confined to the East. Lazar, a leper, one suffering from a foul disease, like Lazarus in St. Luke 16. Congregate, flock together, crowd with. Stringent, strict. Statutes, rules or laws. Book of the Jewish Law, that is, the book Leviticus. Ulcerates, is afflicted with ulcers or sores. Mass, the celebration of the Lord's Supper in the Roman Catholic Church. Burton Lazars, a village one mile from Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire. Here, on account of its excellent sulphur springs, the chief leper hospital was established in the reign of Stephen. Hereditary, transmitted from parents to children. End of notes on Lesson 21. Notes on Lesson 22, The Terror of Famine. Twenty-four shillings a quarter. This is not far from the present price of wheat, which gives us cheap bread. But in 1257, twenty-four shillings would be equivalent to at least twenty pounds in our money. Retainers. Those in the service of a nobleman and wearing his livery and badge. Hanseatic Merchants. Merchants trading with the Hansa cities in Germany, among which was Hamburg, who had formed a league for self-protection about the twelfth century. Granary, a place for storing up grain or corn. End of notes on Lesson 22. Notes on Lesson 23, St. Paul's Cathedral, Part 1. 460 feet, the loftiest spire in England, that of Salisbury Cathedral, is about 404 feet. Its length was at least 600 feet. The present cathedral, the third on the site, is 500 feet long. Shrine, a receptacle for relics and other sacred things. The word means a chest. Aisle is the side or wing of a church. Scribe, a writer. In those early times, so few people could read or write that men often had to have recourse to professional writers. Deed, a written document relating to some legal transaction. Conveyance, a writing legally transferring from one person to another property, especially houses and land. Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester, was the youngest brother of Henry V., on whose death he was made regent in England in 1422. He died in 1447. St. Cuthbert was a monk, missionary and bishop of Lindisfarne, an island off the coast of Northumberland, where he died in 687 AD and was buried in Durham Cathedral. Sacristy, a room adjoining a church where sacred vessels, vestments, etc. are kept. End of Notes on Lesson 23 Notes on Lesson 24, St. Paul's Cathedral, Part 2 Inigo Jones, born 1572, died 1652, was a celebrated architect. Portico, a row of columns in front of a building. Exchange, a building where merchants meet to transact business. Nave, the main body of a church the aisles being on each side of the nave. King Charles II returned at the Restoration in 1660. Sir Christopher Wren, born 1632, died 1723, the greatest English architect. After the Great Fire he rebuilt St Paul's Cathedral, fifty London churches and many public buildings. Over his tomb in St Paul's is the inscription in Latin, If you seek for his monument, Look round about you. The Peace of Reisweg, 1697, made by England, Spain and Holland with Louis XIV of France. 
Dr. Johnson, born 1709, died 1784, one of the great names in English literature and author of a celebrated dictionary. Oriental scholar, or Orientalist, is a man who studies Eastern or Indian languages, such as Persian, Arabic, Hindi, Sanskrit, etc. Sarcophagus, a stone chest for holding a corpse. Porphyry, a hard kind of stone coloured purple and white. Battle of the Nile, 1798. Cape St. Vincent, 1797. Camperdown, 1797. Lord Armoner, the official who dispenses the royal charities and bounties. Slavonic, a group of kindred languages including Russian, Polish and Bulgarian. End of notes on Lesson 24. Notes on Lesson 25, Paul's Churchyard. Embattled, built with battlements. Minor canons, clergy of the cathedral who intone the services and look after the music. Charnel, containing the bones of the dead. Thinsbury Fields, the fenny or marshy ground lying north of the moorgate of the old city walls. Papal bulls, decrees and orders issued by the Pope, so called from the seal attached to them. Latimer, born 1470, died 1555, Bishop of Worcester, burnt at the stake for his Protestant opinions, together with Ridley, Bishop of London. Chapter House, the building where the chapter or clergy belonging to the cathedral meet. Sacrist, the official in a cathedral who copied and took care of the music and books. Paul's Chain, so called because traffic was stopped by a chain during the hours of service. End of Notes on Lesson 25 Notes on Lesson 26, The Religious Houses Forester, one who has charge of a forest to cut wood, plant new trees, etc. Vicar, one who acts in place of another, hence a priest who on behalf of his monastery conducted services in a parish church. Orders, the different brotherhoods into which monks were divided. Indiscriminate charity, giving without thinking whether the charity is well or ill bestowed. Minor rites, monks or nuns belonging to the Franciscan order, who in their humility called themselves the lesser, minores, brethren or sisters. Black friars were the Dominicans, white friars were the Carmelites, grey friars were Franciscans from the colour of their respective dresses. Charter House, the house of the Carthusian monks. Temple, once the house of the Templars, an order of knights whose duty it was to protect the Holy Sepulchre. Part of the church, still to be seen. At Clerkenwell, the gate of the Priory of St. John's is still standing. End of notes on Lesson 26. Notes on Lesson 27. Monks, Friars and Nuns. Indiscriminately, without making any distinctions between them. Hermit, from the Greek, and solitary, from the Latin, mean the same thing. One who retires from the world and lives in a lonely place. Monte Cassino, in Campania, near Naples, where St. Benedict established his monastery in 529 AD. St. Benedict is often shortened to Bennet, as in the name of several London churches. Austerities, severe rules of life and conduct. Friars, or brethren, French frères, Latin fratres, those orders that went forth to the people. Assisi, a town in central Italy where St. Francis was born. St. Dominic, born in Castile in Spain, 1170, died 1221. Founded his order to convert heretics and procured the establishment of the Inquisition, or court for punishing heretics. Sanctuary, a refuge where criminals were safe from the law. Sir W. Scott, in The Fortunes of Nigel, well describes the lawless character of this district in the reign of James I. St. Bernard, a celebrated brother of the Cistercian order, 
born 1091, died 1153. End of notes on Lesson 27. Notes on Lesson 28, The London Churches. St. Augustine was sent by Pope Gregory the Great in 597 to convert the heathen English. He was the Apostle of the English and first Archbishop of Canterbury. St. Dunstan, who became Archbishop of Canterbury and died in 988, was not only a zealous priest, but a great statesman and ruler. St. Alphage, an Archbishop of Canterbury murdered by the Danes in 1012 AD. Size Lane, a lane in the city near Cannon Street. The Basings, an old city family whose name also survives in the Bassishaw ward of the city and in Basinghall Street. Bread Street, turning out of Cheapside, shows where the bakers chiefly dwelt in Old London. John Milton, born 1608, died 1674, wrote Paradise Lost, Paradise Regained, and some beautiful shorter pieces. Three poets, one, the Greek Homer, reputed author of those noble epics the Iliad and Odyssey, about a thousand BC, two, the Roman Virgil, who wrote the Aeneid, born 70 BC, three, the English Milton. The famous epitaph was written by John Dryden. William Tyndall assisted the Reformation by translating the New Testament into English, 1526, and part of the Old Testament. He was burnt as a heretic at Vilvoorde, near Brussels, in 1536. William Cooper, born 1731, died 1800, the author of The Task and other beautiful poems. End of notes on Lesson 28 Notes on Lesson 29, The Streets Plantagenet, Henry II, 1154 to 1189, was the first of the line of kings bearing this name, so called from the badge worn by Henry's father, a sprig of broom. Chesel was the Anglo-Saxon for pebble, and Kiesel is the German for the same. The Chesel Beach near Weymouth is a remarkable bank of shingle joining Portland Bill to the mainland. Somerset House in the Strand. The palace of the protector Somerset has been pulled down, and public offices erected on its site. Northumberland House, now demolished, has given its name to Northumberland Avenue, near Charing Cross. Southwark, to many inns, in particular the Tabard, where Chaucer's pilgrims assembled. Medieval, living in the Middle Ages, that is, some time before about 1500 A.D. Ironmongers in their lane, that is, Ironmonger Lane, turning out of Cheapside. End of notes on Lesson 29. Notes on Lesson 30, Whittington, Part 1. Mercer, a merchant who sells silken or woollen goods. Executors, those who are appointed to carry out the last will and testament of a dead man. Levantine, in the Levant or eastern part of the Mediterranean. Guinea, on the west coast of Africa. Pizarro, a Spanish adventurer who conquered Peru from its native rulers or Incas, and was murdered in his palace at Lima in 1541. A piece of eight dollars, that is, about thirty shillings. Assessment, the value put upon house or property, in order to fix the amount of taxes to be paid. End of notes on Lesson 30. Notes on Lesson 31, Whittington, Part 2. Vintner, a wine seller. Wycliffe, born about 1324, was a learned theologian and rector of Lutterworth in Leicestershire. For preaching Protestant doctrines, he was summoned to appear at St. Paul's to answer a charge of heresy in 1377. John of Gaunt thus made the second attempt to deprive London of its liberties and charter. Matilda, the opponent of Stephen, had tried long before, but it ended in her overthrow. The Marshal was the commander of the royal forces. To put London under him was to destroy its liberty. 
This office is hereditary in the family of the Duke of Norfolk, and like other royal offices became unimportant when it became hereditary. Rebellion of the Peasants, 1381, against overtaxation and being bound to the soil as serfs by their landlords. John Ball, the popular preacher, used to ask, When Adam delved and Eve span, who was then a gentleman? The Archbishop of Canterbury, Simon of Sudbury, had, as Chancellor, proposed the taxes complained of, therefore the peasants murdered him. Rescinding, repealing of a law. End of notes on Lesson 31. Notes on Lesson 32. Whittington, Part 3. Burning of heretics and lollards. In 1401, in the reign of Henry IV, an Act of Parliament was passed for burning heretics. Lollards were those who differed from the Church before the Reformation. The name comes from a German word, lollen, to sing, from the custom of these reformers. Mansion House, the official home of the Lord Mayor. The present building was begun in 1739. Previously, a house in Cheapside was used for the purpose. Bond, a written obligation binding someone to pay a sum of money. When money was needed, the king used to borrow from wealthy citizens and give a bond or promise to repay. St. Michael's Paternoster Royal is in College Hill near Cannon Street. The church was so called from the Tower Royal given by Edward III in 1331 to his queen Philippa for her wardrobe. End of notes on Lesson 32 Notes on Lesson 33 Gifts and Bequests Mark, a coin now obsolete, worth thirteen shillings and fourpence. Interdicted, forbidden, prevented. Technical school, where useful and practical arts and trades are taught. Aqueduct, an artificial channel for water. Seven Oaks in Kent. Higham Ferrers is a small town in Northamptonshire. End of notes on Lesson 33. Notes on Lesson 34. The Palaces and Great Houses. The Kingmaker. Warwick was so called because he helped Edward IV to become king in 1461, and restored Henry VI for a time in 1470. He was slain at the Battle of Barnet, 1471. Quadrangle. An open court, square, with buildings all round it. College of Heralds, a government office under the Earl Marshal, which looks after pedigrees and armorial bearings. Hampton Court, a royal palace begun by Cardinal Wolsey. St. James's Palace, the official residence of the Queen in London, Buckingham Palace being her private residence. Buttery, a storeroom where liquors and other provisions were kept. Baynard's Castle has given its name to one of the city wards. The Duke of Buckingham secured the crown for Richard III, and then, being insufficiently rewarded, rebelled against him, and was executed in 1483. George, Duke of Clarence, brother of Edward IV, first sided with his father-in-law, the Earl of Warwick, then joined his brother in 1471. With justice, therefore, Shakespeare called him false, fleeting, perjured Clarence. He was accused of treason and found dead in the Tower in 1478. End of notes on Lesson 34 Notes on Lesson 35 Amusements Tournament a sham fight at which knights, mostly on horseback, used to show their skill. Twelfth day, twelve days after Christmas, formerly an occasion of great festivities, which have now nearly died out. Morris dance, a Moorish dance, to an accompaniment of bells and tambourines. Cresset, a kind of lantern, formed of an open brazier filled with combustible materials. Demi-lance, a kind of horse-soldier armed with a short lance. Mummeries, entertainments performed by men in masks. Curfew, 
the bell rung at eight o'clock at night as a sign to put out all lights. Ancient towns having much wood were liable to serious fires. End of notes on lesson thirty five. Notes on Lesson 36, Westminster Abbey Thorny, Isle of Thorns, E-Y and E-A meaning island, as in Anglesey, Chelsea, Winchelsea. Precinct, the limit of the ground belonging to a church or other institution. Commissioner, appointed to see that the work was carried out. Sir G. Gilbert Scott, born 1811, died 1878, was the greatest modern English architect. Took sanctuary, fled for shelter to the abbey, whence she could not be taken without violating the privileges of the church. William Caxton set up in 1476 the first printing press in England. Coronation chair, under this is the famous stone brought from Schoon by Edward I, over which all the Scottish kings had been crowned since about 800 A.D. End of notes on Lesson 36 Notes on Lesson 37, The Court at Westminster Star Chamber Court, in which cases were tried before some members of the Privy Council and two judges without a jury. This was established in 1487 to restore order, because great lords and landowners used to frighten juries from giving true verdicts. Bear and ragged staff, the arms of the Earl of Warwick, consisted of a bear erect and hugging a rough stake. Arras, tapestry for hanging, so called from Arras in the north of France, where it was made. Refectory, the hall where the monks or nuns took their meals. End of notes on Lesson 37 Notes on Lesson 38, Justice and Punishments Executive officers, those whose duty it is to enforce the law. Contrition, repentance. Securities, stocks and shares, papers which can be of no use to the ordinary thief. Bridewell, the site of a prison, now demolished. It adjoined Whitefriars, and may be seen in the map to the west of Blackfriars. Un monde honorable, French, when one who has done wrong gives satisfaction without loss of honour. Pillory, a framework supported by an upright pillar. In it were holes through which the head and hands of offenders were thrust. In this uncomfortable position they had to stand exposed to the insults of the mob. Cogged, loaded so as always to fall in a certain way. Title deeds, writings drawn up in proper legal form, to prove the possession of property. End of notes on Lesson 38 Notes on Lesson 39 The Political Power of London Froissart, an early French chronicler or historian who visited England in the reigns of Edward III and Richard II and died in 1401. Besotted with, stupidly and excessively fond of. Commonalty, the common people. Barclay Castle, in Gloucestershire, where Edward II was murdered in 1327. A son was born, Edward, Prince of Wales, born in 1453. After the Yorkist victory of Northampton in 1460, Edward's claim to the throne was set aside in favour of Richard, Duke of York, father of Edward IV. The prince was slain at the Battle of Tewkesbury, 1471. Benevolences. Loans of money, supposed to be voluntary, really compulsory, made by merchants and other rich men to the king. Charts. Papers. Blank checks. Orders on the bank for money, with all except the amount required filled up and properly signed. Factor. If two times three make six, two and three are each factors of six. Hence it is something which helps to bring about some result. End of notes on Lesson 39 End of notes for Lessons 21 to 39